uh, it was the situation that happened in Europe. But next move on to beyond Europe, what was happening over there? And in apart from the Europe, America established their chair in competitive literature in 18, 1987. So this American School of Comparative Literature came into discussion in 1961 when a collection of essays was published by Southern Illinois University Press. Those essays were edited by Newton uh, Stocknecht, Horst Frenz and Henry Remek, who Horst Frenz or Horst Frenz, Henry Remek, who attempted to define competitive literature in a new extended perspectives. So we have seen that Europe, there was a, a situation not positive for competitive literature, but in America, this three person attempt to, to, to define competitive literature in a new perspectives. What is the perspectives? Henry Remick, he is a professor emeritus of competitive literature in Germany and the West European studies. And he had been studying in Indiana University. Okay. So they said that competitive literature, that means according to Henry Remick, Competitive literature is the study of literature beyond the confines of one particular country. Okay. So in Europe, they had been thinking about cultural roots, literature roots. Europe had been thinking about our literature, our culture, our literature, and 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 our literature, not significant. Kintu Remek Bolche Kane, American Kitik Bolchenje, competitive literature is the study of literature beyond the confines of particular country. That means Remek didn't say that our literature is great. Others' literature is not important. He didn't say. He said that actually, according to Henry Remek, in terms of American School of Competitive Literature, that competitive literature is the comparison between one literature literature of a country with the literature of another country that is his uh, and in this region the study of the relationship between literature on one hand and the other areas of knowledge and belief so remick not only put that that is literature literature of one country will be compared with the literature of another country. The first point. Next time he said that the relationship between uh, the other areas of knowledge can be compared. Other beliefs such as arts, painting, sculpture, architecture, music, philosophy, history, social science, politics, economy, sociology, all can be compared with each other. So Rene Oilek's definition of competitive literature is far extended. And it means that the comparison of literature with other spheres of human expression. So Rene Oilek said that actor literature is a literature of my Tuluna Kora Hobe. After a debate, he asked the Kunta great literature, Kunta world literature, Kunta general literature. Rene Wallach said, no, literature is art, literature is music, literature is painting, literature is sculpture, sociology and not only that, literature will be compared with the other spheres of human expression. So, in human expression of art and writing, manushi sociology and humanities and the art, culture, music, painting, economics, everything. Nowadays, many literature is viewed through the perspectives of Adam Smith's theory. Upon one literature, economic theory, the umbrella should have a bitter coach. He should see theory of Marxism theory, the umbrella bitter coach. He should see theory camera, literature camera, prayer theory, the umbrella to Tulana coach. So, American School of Competitive Literature came up with that idea. That means a more 
and far greater perspectives of company literature. What did they say? Especially the Rene Wallach said that yes, literature can be compared with the other spheres of human expression. And what might be the human expression? The sociology, culture, uh, sociology, sociology, culture, sculpture, literature, everything can be compared with the other thing. So, Remax Ashes clarifies the basis of American comparative literature. Okay. So, if you are asked to put the definition of American school of comparative literature, that you have to write this. That is Remax Ashes clarifies the basis of American school of comparative literature. And that breaks the French model, defines the trend of American school of comparative literature. Remack contrasted his approach with other comparatists and provided at an annotated bibliography. He was also aware of the terminological problem and he refers to haziness of the distinction between comparative literature and dis uh, uh, general literature. So Remack said that actually what is general literature, what is comparative literature, it is a matter of debate. Don't go for that. That means comparative literature will be comparing one literature with other expression of human sciences, art, culture, music, painting, economics and sociology. It means Remax definition is far more greater than the definition provided by the French and German school of comparative literature. Got the idea? Yeah? believe that Remake believe that French approach is too narrow. French ki French German tara sobshomoy ki niye porechilo tader gear literature ni school of competitive literature and French school of competitive literature he had been dealing with the perspectives of national culture and national literature. It is another consumption. Actually, my French school of competitive literature, both the cases, there is a matter of influence. Competitive literature is the same. Amar Shaito Kimagono Shaito is probably the same. It is a competitive literature factor. It is a matter of competition. But Remake would say that French approach was too narrow and relied too heavily on factual evidence and influence on French school. So Remake. Influences, influence started in the French tradition were unimaginative and that derived from a positivistic approach and so he presented an alternative approach and he says that means Remax said that the influence studies contribute not only to our knowledge of literary history and to our understanding of the creative process of the literary work of art. So influence of course Influence will be there, but influence will not be related to our literary history and the creative process. Creative process in way, when you will, you will say that Amadir Ramayan Mahabharata ache, eta holo onno ekta sahitya ke influence koreche. But jokhon amra Ramayane ke chhada tulona korbo sociology er kono aspect diye, jokhon amra Ramayane chhada tulona korbo kono art, painting and uh, economics perspectives diye, that will influence our creative process. That is the point pointed out by Remack, the American scholars or comparatist. So that is the so Remack said that the French school perspective is too narrow. While French school tried to confine comparative literature within boundaries, Remack and his colleagues were proposing a definition and transgressed boundaries. Transgressed boundaries one key. Boundary of her come to the French school Shopshumai Chase Tade. Literature take a major actor Gondi Muth Abod the Kurakte, but American School of Competitive Literature, a boundary chari, Puro world day. Shudumatra literary boundary, Shahitri boundary, a boundary to Tara Chase or Chiki. Competitive literature will be comparing one literature with art, music, painting, and other fields of human sciences and human knowledge. That is, it is more universal, is it? So, following Remak, American School, anything could be compared with anything else. Back to Aage Bole Chilo Ki, 
লিটারেচারের সাথে সব কিছুর তুলনা করা যাবে এখন বলছেন যে এনিথিং ক্যান বি কম্পেয়ার্ড উইথ এনিথিং আলস যে কোনো কিছুর সাথে যে কোনো কিছু তুলনা করতে করা যাবে ওকে অ্যান্ড রিগার্ডলেস ইভেন অফ হোয়েদার ইট ইজ ওয়াজ লিটারেচার অর নট দ্যাট মিন্স আর্ট ক্যান বি কম্পেয়ার্ড উইথ ইকোনমি ইকোনমিক্স ক্যান বি কম্পেয়ার্ড উইথ সোশিওলজি সোশিওলজি কম্পেয়ার্ড উইথ সাইকোলজি সো কম্পেরিজন উইল বি দিয়ার there will be a framework and you can compare anything with any uh, any other thing as well so but remax definition did not put competitive literature as separate discipline rather an auxiliary discipline and a bridge between subject areas remax talked of the key word process while francisco talked about product so what is the difference between french and american school so french school is too narrow they had been talking about the national consciousness they had been uh, talked about the uh, product but in case whenever you will be comparing literature with art whenever you will be comparing literature with economics the creative process will be evolved okay so american school talked about the process and french school or german school talked about the product in terms of comparative literature So Rimbeck avoided the question of nationalism in relation to comparative literature and thus the hallmark of comparative uh, American school is to depoliticization of comparative literature. Depoliticization. Politicization means that it is not a good thing. French, German and European school are comparative literature and they are doing what they are doing. অনেকটা নিজেদের করা নিজেদের মধ্যে রাখতে চেষ্টা করেছিল বাট আমেরিকান স্কুল ইজ অব ডি পলিটিসাইজেশন অফ কম্পেয়ারিভ লিটারেচার অ্যান্ড দ্যাট ইজ দ্য মার্কড কন্ট্রাস্ট টু দ্য লেভেল অফ ইউরোপিয়ান কম্পেয়ারিভ লিটারেচার সো আমেরিকান স্কুল ডি পলিটাইজাইজাইজেশন অফ কম্পেয়ারিভ লিটারেচার অ্যান্ড দ্যাট ইজ দ্য ইউনিভার্সাল আসপেক্ট অফ কম্পেয়ারিভ লিটারেচার হাউ American school got such kind of spirit. Actually, the idea was influenced by new criticism in America. What is the new criticism? New criticism was a formalist movement in literary movement that dominated American literary history and criticism in the middle decades of uh, 20th century. And it emphasized the close reading. So new criticism in America, that theory dominated America in the middle of 20th century. এই যে অ্যাপ্রোচ যখন এবং সেখানে কি বলা হচ্ছে ইন নিউ ক্রিটিসিজম পার্টিকুলারলি আ ক্লোজ রিডিং নিউ ক্রিটিসিজম ইম্ফোসাইজড অন ক্লোজ রিডিং হোয়াট ইজ দি হোয়াট ডাজ ইন মিন পার্টিকুলারলি অফ পয়েট্রি টু ডিসকভার হাউ আ ওয়ার্ক অফ লিটারেচার ফাংশন অ্যাজ এ সেলফ কন্টেন্ট আফটার রাইটিং আ পয়েট্রি হু হ্যাজ রিটেন দিস হোয়েন ইট ওয়াজ রিটেন হোয়াট ইজ দ্য কন্টেক্সট ওকে New criticism is not bothered about that. They said that Kovita ta kya hon? Shaito karmo ta kya hon? That is called the approach of new criticism. And that approach dominated American school of thought or literary school in the middle, mid 20th century. And through that aspect they have said that literature should be just on the basis of the literary values. একটা সাহিত্য কর্ম নভেল হোক কবিতা হোক যাই হোক না কেন এটাকে বিচার করতে হবে সাহিত্য কর্মটি কেমন এটা কে লিখেছে এটার মধ্যে কখন লেখা হয়েছে এটার মধ্যে হিস্ট্রি আছে কি না এটার মধ্যে কালচার আছে কি না এটার মধ্যে মিথ আছে কি না এটার মধ্যে ফোকলোর আছে কিনা দিস আর নট ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইন টার্মস অফ নিউ ক্রিটিসিজম দ্যাট ডমিনেটেড আমেরিকান অ্যাপ্রোচ ইন দ্য মিড টোয়েন্টি সেঞ্চুরি সো অ্যান্ড এগেন in the literary theory formalism refers to the critical approaches that analyze interpret and evaluate the inherent features of the text okay so new criticism and formalism and this formalistic approach and new critic approach made american school of comparative literature more universal more broad in which sense that in sense that in 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 that sense that uh, American school speaks about universalism 
যেটা হচ্ছে ফ্রেন্স এবং জার্মান স্কুলের মধ্যে ছিল না এগেন আমেরিকান স্কুল রিলেটিং টু নিউ ক্রিটিসিজম গোস টু দ্য আর্লিয়ার ওয়ার্ক অফ দ্য নাইনটিন সেঞ্চুরি হোয়েন চার্লস মিল গ্যালে সেট আপ ফিউচার মডেল অফ দ্য ইউএস কম্পারেটি লিটারেচার সো গেটিং দ্য গ্রাউন্ড What is the ground that Rimax said that Miss American School of Comparative Literature, anything can be compared with anything else. Why? Because if you compare literature with economics, that will help your uh, creative process. Galley put forward the idea. And why uh, put forward the idea? And that is linked up with Matthew Arnold. Actually, we started our lectures with the idea of Matthew Arnold. That means poetry. Uh, anything cannot uh, uh, anything cannot be uh, any literary piece cannot be just in isolation okay that means you have to compare with someone else pons posnet and uh, arthur marsh in his book entitled what is competitive literature galley proposed that competitive literature should be seen as nothing more or less than the literary philosophy and formulated an early version of american school discipline uh, definition insisting on the importance of the psychology anthropology linguistics social science religion and art in the study of literature so this galley he put that yes in literature how you can get the linkage between literature and philosophy how you can get the linkage between philosophy literature and uh, religion literature and social science literature and linguistics every aspects can be compared in comparative literature in which school in american school of comparative literature so we get the melting pot theory in american school of called melting pot theory you know that is melting pot theory that means in a pot many things can be compared with others anything melting pot that means amra khichdi ranna korar shomoy ki dei khichdi te onek kichu ingredient dei kintu ranna korar pore ei ingredient gulo alada kora jay jay na that is called the melting pot theory that means all ingredients will dissolve over there so we get the melting pot theory of competitive literature and just as the us prided itself providing a melting pot of all commerce actually america is america itself is a melting pot actually the people living in america they are from different cultures different backgrounds different history different communities like that in the same way the competitive literature of america is going they put that the melting pot theory what is the melting pot theory that is anything can be compared with anything else what is anything that is literature it can be compared with philosophy philosophy can be compared with culture culture can be compared with psychology and like that and that melting theory put american school of competitive literature more universal and more broad why do we have more of kind of idea because this idea is actually dominated by the new critic approach in america new critic approach or formalist approach that dominated the middle of 20th century in america influenced by the new critic approach and the formalist approach american school of comparative literature put such kind of literature in comparative uh, such kind of definition in comparative literature that is the American School of Comparative 